Good afternoon, everybody. This is a daily chart on Amazon. And basically, we can see where that 1015 area was a major reversal. And boy, did it go down. Um, I can just be very clear about how to trade the call options, the turbo options that we are. We're turbooptiontrader.com. 117 was a reversal and the low was 989 and that's what happened. We had a similar uh, over here on 69. The open on the call was 1012. The high was 1012. But look at what happened. The put options paid so much money that you can't even count it. It went down to 927 intraday. So basically, from these lows on 614 of 966, we had a low on 615 and 950. We had a low on 616. They got it up to 682. And on 619, they got it back up to um, that daily high again. And we had a total reverse. Now, having said that, we can clearly see the change that has taken place in the last few trading days. Now we're going to go to the option charts called Power Option, Turbo Option Trading. Yeah. All right. Just to be very clear is that the last print on Options Friday was 103.74. On this particular, we're looking at the 1,010 1, put that's in the money. They got super deflated up here at $55. They dropped down here. And, you know, when Amazon was going through those big corrections on the intraday level, we can see where that power money on that 110 put at the time was out of the money. But now, when we take a look at that same put option, we're looking at the fact that this particular uh, put option now is $1,199 on the lows and they've deflated the premium. Now, I'm going to go over here. Oh, and let me make it clear that 99% uh, of option traders are not, they're non-professional. They've never seen a 1,010 put chart. They've never seen call charts, but they want to trade options. How ridiculous that is. All right, so here's what we're going to look at. This is going to be the uh, $1,005 call. And we had a low on Friday of $6.61 pennies. Now, when when this side of the market here uh, was totally deflated on a 615, this is deflated. And we bought the puts. They popped them right back up here on the open at $16 was a high. And we came out. So, basically, we're going to take a look at the um, $1,000 call. And basically, these calls were inflated up here at 24.64 on the 1,000 call chart. But now, we're coming back down. We made a low on Friday of 8.98. But you can see the gaps. And these were gaps to sell the call options and buy the put options on the opening bell. So one of our main focuses is also the 9.95 call. And it got dirt cheap over here at $5.57. They popped it up on the open. They went to $20 and it was time to get out. So basically as we move forward in the June, um, in the, in the June 30 uh, expiration, we're also going to do the following. One thing about Amazon.com on this weekly chart, um, the percent DS and the trading ranges has been uh, from 1017 down to 989 on the low in this current environment. So actually, on the weekly chart, we have a rising 10-week moving average. This is where they had popped the stock for the call side of the market and whatnot using the weekly chart on Amazon.com. And like I said, 1017 and the low was 989. Here was where it was on the 945 calls and they popped it up. And this started on 611. And on a weekly chart, it will end at 618. And it will start new as of today, Sunday. 
and this is the equity on Amazon on a weekly chart. There's a lot of volatility. We're going to be looking at uh, the put side of the market as well as the call side. And here are our calls. And on the 10,000 put that's in the money, it's deflated down here and it got to 11.99. Now we can also take the um, 1,000 put, which is totally deflated at 690, and we had um, a lot higher highs in the in the put. So the 1,000 put is out of the money. But it is setting up, and this is totally deflated. Yes, we can get a gap down, and yes, we're going to look at buying it, and yes, it's a 1,000 put on Amazon, and yes, it is the chart that shows you how deflated it is and why we're going to make a lot of money and why we're looking at all sides of the market on Amazon, calls and puts, and what that ratio and balances are based on the entry and exits live in the market maker division.